Time for us to go two on one with BYU junior safety, Micah Hanneman. Don't call him a senior, Jerem, because he's a junior. That may or may not have happened. I never have. <laughs> <laughs> Micah Hanneman has some of the best hair on the BYU football team, and he has every intention of sending out his senior teammates with a win in their home finale at Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday night. BYU Sports Nation two on one with the star safety. Micah, final game of the regular season against Utah State, uh, who is a team that's down, but you have a chance to get to 8-4 and four and win four in a row going into the bowl game. What do you anticipate on Saturday night against the Aggies? Um, Utah, you know, it's kind of a rival game for us, Utah State. I think the past three years it's been 2-1. and one, So Utah State's always tough, you know, then they're going to come out tough. But I'm excited to play. I'm excited to play them at home. It's going to be freezing, but it's going to be fun. Kind of a rival game? I mean, it's a rival game. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to clarify that. I don't want any, like, controversy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's going. It's going to be really cold. How does that change things uh, for you going into the game? I mean, physically, maybe it's just a little different, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to prepare for the, the ground being wet and for it being cold and stuff. Coach Lamb doesn't let us wear sleeves, so it's going to be different this year. So we're just going to Vaseline up our arms and stuff. No <laughs> so, sleeves. No, no sleeves for the, for the DVs, at least the safeties. Wow. So. The Vaseline's real, though. Brian Logan has told us about this, playing at Wyoming and stuff. Have you had a game where you had to use Vaseline? Um, yeah, we used it a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, it worked. We stayed warm. Cincinnati? I think it was Boise. Boise, Boise okay. yeah. BYU now headed to the Poinsettia Bowl. You're not really sure who you're going to play, but you have a Mountain West team in Utah State to get you warmed up for San Diego. When you think about nine wins and after this schedule, a potential at that, what, what goes through your mind? Yeah, you know, because it started. We started with the season. You know, we lost those games pretty early in the season. So one and three. Yeah, one and three, and we've lost one game since. So um, it's good. This team, I feel like, just straight up is the best team that that I've been a part of since I've been here at BYU. Like talent-wise, closeness-wise, coaches. Not, not that I didn't like the coaches before, but just the whole like camaraderie between the coaches and the players, and and the fans have been awesome. Like this year has been an awesome year. We've the record doesn't show like how good of a team this is because I feel like we could have easily went you know undefeated this year, which kind of sucks looking back at it. But at the same time, ending the season strong will be sweet. It could be an NCAA record uh, eight points uh, in the combined four losses, which would be the the least of that many ever. You know, which is pretty crazy. What, what do you think of the blackout? You get some alternate uh, uniforms for the uh, third or fourth time this year. Yeah, um, the blackout sweet. We haven't worn our black uniforms this year. I'll probably get a stuff mine in my bag after the game <laughs> so take it home with me but no those are those are my favorite uniforms to wear blackout so it'll be fun what has this week been like for the seniors in practice knowing that hey this is this is our regular season finale this is the last chance that a lot of your teammates are gonna have to play at Lavelle Edwards Stadium yeah the seniors you know I love all the seniors a lot of close friends with the seniors and it's sad like I can't imagine thinking about because what my last game is going to be coming up next year but for those guys, you know, there's just different different mindset, different energy, it being their last game. But our our goal in this game is to for the seniors to to be to be on the field a lot, so it'll be fun. What sticks out about uh, what Utah State does that has your attention? Um, I mean, Utah State they have they have good athletes on their team. They like to take shots, and when they complete those shots, then that's when they get ahead of teams. So just need to like in the the DBs need to lock down their shots, stop them from in those huge games. So. Yesterday, Eli Satuyaki uh, told me that he expects Utah State to throw everything they have in the playbook because this yeah. is their bowl game, and this is the last chance that's against a rival at BYU. This would help uh, get them going in the right direction for next year. How do you prepare yourself for a team that really has nothing to lose and like, yeah, let's run 12 trick plays? <laughs> I mean, it's our last game too, so we kind of play every game like it's our last game, like, but like especially for defense because defense you can't really – do a double pass or whatever, throw out trick plays and stuff. But obviously they're going to be coming out hard, Utah State. And, you know, it's our, it's our senior night. It's our last game for those seniors on that field. So I'm sure that we'll have similar energy as them. So it'll be fun. Just make sure you don't get caught taking your black jersey, okay? <laughs> yeah, and no sleep. I got caught on camera already. So <laughs> <laughs> when it goes missing, uh, yeah, no sleep. Micah, great to talk to you. We appreciate yeah, the time. Thanks.